Hey everyone, welcome back to the video. I hope you all are doing great. Well, today is the first part of the series of AI object detection. Yes, you heard it right. From today, we will be starting the object detection series. Well, we'll be using the software of OpenCV along with OpenAI software that is ChatGPT. In today's video, we will be just doing the camera settings with some of the weights and data sets that we'll be adding. In the further part, we will be doing the chatbot with the help of ChatGPT and later on we are going to connect these two. Now what exactly are we going to do with this? Well, we are basically giving eye to ChatGPT in the sense we are going to give that recognition system or detection system where we are going to recognize an object and whatever the object or something is recognized, we are going to give it to ChatGPT and ChatGPT is going to give the complete information of a person or an object that has been detected. Well, further we go, we can make it much more advanced. So without wasting more time, let's get straight into the video. So everyone, right now I'm in my VS Code uh, right here on the screen. Uh, you can use any uh, Python editor that you have. You can use PyCharm. Previously, I used to use PyCharm. So you can use PyCharm too. Even if you have any other code editor, you can use that. For now, I'm using VS Code um, and I have created a file. Uh, I want you to create a kind of like more than a file, a folder for yourself that where you can store like this whole PY files together. Uh, so I want you to create a folder and connect it to whichever you know code editor you're using and all those stuff. Now, uh, before we move into the programming stuff, we require a few packages that has to be installed. Uh, which will help us to recognize the object, which will help us to uh, open the camera of our system and which will help us to uh, design the B box that we have or you can say it as the bounding box that we have. All of these things we require certain packages that we need to install. So we will be requiring around um, uh, four or three packages that will be helpful for today's program, for today's part one and uh, the packages will increases, increase as we prolong uh, or we proceed to the part 2 series or uh, uh, part 2 of the series or part 3 or part 4 where we use open ai software and all that stuff uh, whichever is required now uh, first of all uh, we need to install few packages um, let me first import those packages and then let you know what you need to do uh, so first we need to uh, uses from ultrasonic or ultralytics sorry yeah from ultralytics import yolo okay so now talking about this package this package is more important for you know object detection because yolo is a package which will help you recognize the object it has a data set it has a weight pack uh, you know that you need to install and all the stuff now how do you do this you can rather just go to um you know the python's official site you can come to the py file and you can put here um ultra analytics ultra analytics you can click enter once that's enter you'll have a lot of files coming up the first one is the one you need to install so when you click on the first link that you get oh you should get a prompt called as pip yeah this is the one so you can just click on this copy this um you can use the terminal of the code editor whichever you have in pycharm as its own terminal or vs code as its own terminal so you can either use the terminal like you can just paste it right here like pip install you can just control v you can paste it it will uh, install like if you control v right here it will automatically come here or else if you want to do it outside the code editor you can just type in from your windows uh, search right here you can type it as cmd that's a command prompt you will be able to paste it right here control v and then click enter it will install for you also so that's the first package that we need that is uh, ultralytics from that we need yolo yolo is a must needed now before we go into the other packages that we are going to install um i want you to create a folder called as yolo weights now i've already created a folder like this but i want you to specifically create a yolo like a folder called as yolo weights now what are these weights what are these yolo weights 
Now I have done a video before, uh, rather than video I can say I have done a complete series on deep learning, how deep learning works and what exactly these weights do. So in that videos or in those videos I have uh, spoken about how exactly weights help you to recognize a certain object or a certain you know, category of things that you have. So if you want to understand how exactly these things work, I will do leave the link in the description. Also there will be an i button right here. Uh, in the right side corner or wherever it is uh, just click on that watch that video to understand how exactly weights work in deep learning or you can say in machine learning too so all of these things help you to have a data set basically it's like a data set that you give to your whole program that will that will be able to understand how exactly these things look like and recognize it so create a file like a folder like this and do check out the video so you'll have a better understanding of it People who already know it, good, you just create the folder, that's more than enough. So once you're done with this, next thing that you need is a CV2. So import CV2. Now, if you don't have this package, it's obviously that you have to install it. So for that, you need to, again, you can either uh, come to the official site of Python. You can uh, put it as open CV. You will get the, you know, uh, the file how to install like this pip install right here will give that command you can put it in the cmd or uh, in the terminal of your code editor anything is fine so it's import cv2 uh, other than that we need is a uh, uh, cv zone import cv zone now why cv zone required is for the b box which i told bounding box for the design of that for uh, even for our hand tracking module which we use we are going to use that file itself this folder itself this whole CV is own package. Uh, CV2 open CV is basically for your camera. It's it's the internal camera or your external camera that you're using for that purpose. Okay. Now uh, once this is done, um, you can import a math. Now this you need not install. It's already default. It will be there in your system. So these are the things that you require uh, for your uh, whole code that you you know to run this program that we are going to write. Now, uh, before we move into the whole programming part, uh, let me explain what exactly we are going to do today. Now, I've already explained in the beginning, but uh, today we are just going to you know, use YOLO package or we are going to give it a, a small data set for it to understand. In this part one, basically, we are just going to give the camera the set, like basic, let's just the basic settings where it can understand and recognize the object that we give. Uh, the second part will be like uh, working on, you know, open AI software, that's the chat GPT that we're going to import all that stuff. Third part will be like connecting these two together. And once you're connected these two, then the fourth and the fifth or the upcoming videos will be making this whole, you know, program that we write into much more advanced way as possible. So that's the whole idea about this whole series that we're going to come up with. Now, let's get back into the coding part. Now we're going to give a variable called as cap uh, for a video capture so we are going to use cap is equal to cv2 dot uh, video capture and uh, we are going to put here as zero uh, i'm using my internal camera if you have an external camera that you're using you can just change this to one or if you have just your internal camera just put it to zero anything is fine once this is done you're going to give a cap dot set you're setting it uh, you're going to give the height and width all of those things. So you want to put it as three, uh, comma one two eight zero. Now this is a, a pretty much large one. Actually, the default one will be six forty. Uh, is the default. Um, then we have one more time. We need to put cap set. This is the width. All those stuff. Four, comma. Uh, we can give seven twenty for now. Usually again, the default will be around 480, uh, around that number, but you can just put for now 720. The larger it's the better. You will have much more, uh, you know, distance to show your objects and stuff like, like that. Okay. Now, uh, once you're done with this, we are going to give a model. Now, what is a model is basically, a, uh, it's a whole uh, package that you're uh, installing into a folder and that's the reason why I told you to create this folder called as YOLO weights. So we are going to make a variable called as model is equal to uh, capital all caps or uh, that's going to be YOLO. Fine. Uh, we are going to open the tuple. 
and once you open the tuple it's going to be double dot uh, slash uh, you're gonna give the you know folder name the folder name what you're given yolo weights the same thing you're gonna give right here yolo uh, weights same thing whatever name you've given just put it right here and then again the slash then we have uh, yolo yolo of v8 that's the version 8 and and don't forget to you know leave this out because last time uh, when i was coding this i forgot this complete and it was, it was giving me the error so it's gonna be pt fine now this is the main thing that you require so this will automatically install this thing to your folder right here you will await and it will do the stuff so you need not worry about anything right here fine now the basic model has been given uh, the installation will happen once we run the file now uh, what we need is something called as a class uh, module or a class name also you can call it as but i'll say it as a class module uh, or let's just keep it as class name itself is fine class name is equal to uh, now there is this list of all the objects that we require all the items that item name that we need to put into this list it's like a data set that we're giving up so i have this um, text file right here don't worry uh, i will give this whole uh, file or this whole thing in the description or uh, you guys can inst uh, not so inst you guys can just get it or the whole code also i will leave the whole source code in the description uh, just click the link uh, I, it will you know take us uh, take you guys to the website and uh, you guys will have free access to the whole uh, source code as well as this list so if you want to check out how to access the source code i've, I've already done the video also i'll leave all those links whichever are important i'll leave it in the description uh, do check it out get the source code as well as get this list because individually typing this would take you a lot of time so copy pasting would be a much better option fine so i'm just going to copy this um, and you can also add all the other names also if you have uh, but this is the default so let me remove this list because it already has a list right there okay let me remove this class name too it's not required Yep, that should be good enough. So this is a complete list of all the items. Like you can see, person, bicycle, car, motorbike, uh, motorbike, uh, motorbike. Sorry, um, aeroplane, bus, train, uh, truck, boat, traffic light. All these things, bird, cat. All those things are right there. It's like a complete data set you're giving to the model, right? Now, once you're done with this, we are going to open a while loop. Okay, so we're gonna put as while true. Uh, once while true is open, the loop is open. You're gonna give it as success, comma, uh, image that is img uh, is equal to cap uh, dot um, read. Okay. Now success and image is given. Next is going to be results. Just follow on the code, guys. That's it. Results is equal to model that we had done before. Uh, we're gonna give the image right here comma stream is equal to uh, true fine uh, this is done next we need is uh, we're gonna give a for loop that is for r n uh, results fine once we are on that once you're on the for loop we are going to give uh, the boxes that is the bounding boxes that we're going to talk about boxes uh boxes is equal to oh uh, r box r dot box sorry r dot um r dot boxes will be better and um, for boxes for uh no let's just put as for box in boxes again another for loop in which we are going to give x1 these are like another kind of weights that we're giving for the images that for the in the camera basically um x1 y1 and then we have x2 and uh, y2 okay is equal to box box or uh, dot 
x y oh, x y yeah and then we're gonna open the brackets with brackets zero that's it okay now once this is done let me bring a little down let me also close my terminal because it's not required for now okay now what we need is again x1 comma y1 sorry y1 but this time uh no i think it should be fine let's just put x2 it's also x2 y2 is equal to uh we're gonna put it to integer value we're gonna give it as x1 comma y1 come out of the um or yeah we can just again put an integer that's better integer we're gonna give x2 and y2 right here and then put a comma and uh, or we can rather rather put it into single units that would be better yeah and it Again, integers, sorry for the confusion right here. I just made them together rather than I should have done separately. So really sorry for that. Uh, so put it into a separate, separate, comma and separate, separate. It's going to be int x2 and uh, y2. It's all separate, fine. Now, once you're done with this, uh, we can uh, put the weights and the uh, width and the height. That is much more important for our B box that we give. So we are going to put it as x2 minus um, x1 and um, comma we can put it as y2 minus y1. This is the width and the height that we are giving for the b box. Then we can provide is uh, the b box is equal to uh, in it. And I think I can just copy this whole thing and just paste it right here. Even you can also do the same thing. I believe you can just use the source code that I give the description that would make your job much more easier. Uh, now, uh, don't worry, in the source code that I give, I will add the text right here, like what these commands are basically doing. Like I'll put a uh, text like this is uh, for this, like something like that. Uh, sorry for the spelling mistake. Yeah, this is for this, some, something like that text. I'm going to put it right here so that you'll be able to understand what exactly we are trying to do. So you'll be able to get that kind of source code in the description. Fine, now uh, we are going to remove this integer x2 into w, that's our uh, width and uh, h for our height. Fine. Now, uh, once this is done, what we are going to do is we are going to give cv zone the command. Fine. cv zone, uh, we are going to give corner rec. Uh, we are going to give the image for it. Use the image comma. And then we are going to give it the whole uh, tuple of x1 and then we have uh, y1, sorry, y2, then we have um, width and then we have the height, right? Yep, that should be good. Oh, there's something that's showing an error right here. It's fine, it's completely fine. I'll just bring this here. It was just showing an error, but now it's not fine. Now uh, we have the we have given CV zone the whole uh, corner rec the image and everything. Now we are going to give the configure we are going to put as conf c o n f is equal to we are going to make it as a variable that is math dot um, uh, c e i l. Uh, we are going to put a tuple and uh, maybe we can put a double tuple right here. Uh, another tuple. Inside that we are going to give a box dot con or config uh, big brackets zero multiplied to 100 and then we might come out uh, we'll put another tuple to close this divided by 100. Okay, so follow the same command, right? Uh, once they are done with this, we are going to make it as one more class because we have already given a class name and we have a default something called as a class. So we can't use that right here. It has a default something like this class. So we can't use that instead of we are going to make it as CLS that is class is equal to int, uh, int box dot CLS the big brackets we are going to put uh, zero and then we are done right here i think we yeah i think it should be perfectly fine and then uh, 
we can put cv zone cv zone dot put a uh, text to rect and here what we are trying to do is i uh, let me explain you what exactly we are trying to do here let me just put this image right here so here what we try to do is we oh uh, let me bring this down wait these two are one command and these are separate command okay these what we are trying to do is we gave the bound in box right here but now we are going to give the image name that is the data set that we gave right here so the whole program is like it's going to open the camera it's going to recognize it's going to put a box when it recognizes something and based on the recognition the weights that is given to it it's going to use the text that we have given right here the class name that we have given right here so that's the whole thing that we are going to do right here so image a uh, comma we're going to give an f command uh open the string flower brackets config come out of the flower brackets we are going to put another flower bracket right here a uh, class name that we had given before class name a uh, big brackets cls and then once you're out of the flower brackets you can um, come out of the string to so now uh, we are going to give something called as the max fine now this is basically for uh, now we it uses the camera to open suppose let's assume that your object went outside uh, the box uh, and uh, the camera view the height that we have given so the name of the object is going to stay inside the box rather than going outside inside the b box that we have given the width and the height that we have given it's going to stay inside that it's not going to go outside so that's the reason why we're going to give this max function right here so when i put a tuple right here for the max and we're going to come to max uh, again another tuple 0 comma 1 and then a uh, max uh 35 comma y1 fine now once this is done uh we can come out maybe let me just try to increase the font a little bit if possible yeah i think we should be fine yeah uh we are going to put something called as a scale scale is equal to 2 and then we have the thickness thickness around um 2 yeah that should also be fine now this is done everything else is set up that's completely fine okay now last thing that we need is cv2.image show it's going to show you the image right here image show uh we're going to get the big brackets and we uh, forgot to put a string right here sorry uh we're going to put it as image or yeah this is sick image oh we can remove the big bracket sorry you can put as i image of uh, string comma image and then once this is done cv2 dot weight key weight key is going to be 1 remember this is going to be 1 not 0 okay because if you put 0 it's going to just pause your screen right there so put it to 1 and everything should be working perfectly fine so this is the whole code of the part 1 series of uh, this object detection that we're going to do right now if you run the file it's going to first install the yolo for you in this folder yolo weights and once that is done it's going to open you the camera and then it will start recognizing yourself that what i showed in the beginning part so this is whole code that we have for recognition second part will be on the open ai software that we are going to work on and then the third will be on connecting so it's basically complete like you're giving ai to chat gpt and then chat gpt is going to recognize the stuff and basically uh tell you the information so you did not give a data set for it uh, to additional information for your ai for to tell or tell about like maybe let's assume that there's bus so you need not give complete information okay bus type you need not type it like bus is basically this this, this. you rather give a whole research and give it to you so something like that so it's a very interesting uh, series that we are going to do 
uh, I hope you will like this whole series about the whole thing about. So you will find all the links of the source code, the video on the weights, how it works, the deep learning series. Do check out that series. You will find the source code of this list also. All the links will be there in the description. You guys can go check it out. So keep this, you know, project ready uh, because when we bring the second part, it, it should be there so that we in the third part, we will be able to connect it with both of them. So something like that we are going to do and then we are going to advance it as much as possible in the later parts of the series too. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked the video or if you did, please consider subscribing and also like the video. Share uh, to your friends who are interested in, you know, doing object detection too. Even if they are also, they can also watch this video. Um, and uh, that's it. Uh, stay tuned for the upcoming videos. Happy coding guys. Peace out guys. Bye.